Hi guys, Ian here, and today I'm going to be doing this quick comparison video on four different guitar picks that I like to use for both jazz guitar and acoustic guitar playing. Uh, we're going to be starting off with the D'Andrea Propluck 1.5mm pick. Uh, this guitar pick is very popular in the jazz guitar community, and he's used by players like Adam Rogers and Jonathan Kreisberg. It has a very warm and uh, round sound to it, and it also lasts quite a while. Here's what it sounds like. Okay. Up next is the Blue Chip TD60 1.5 millimeter guitar pick. So same thickness as the D'Andrea Pro Plec. This is the most expensive pick in the bunch at around $40. However, I think it's worth it. I have had this guitar, or sorry, this pick for uh, eight years, believe it or not. And it still looks brand new and feels brand new. Uh, here's what it sounds like. Okay, and up next is the Dunlop Primetone 1.5 millimeter guitar pick. Uh, this one comes with pre-beveled edges, and to me it sounds a little bit brighter than the other two. Uh, also a great pick, kind of similar in feel to the blue chip material-wise. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, and lastly, we have the Fender True Shell Heavy Guitar Pick. This one is a little bit thinner than the others, and what's unique about it is it is made out of a protein called uh, casein. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but anyway, I, I guess the goal of this pick was to mimic the uh, tortoiseshell picks back in the day that are now illegal to make because of course you can't use tortoise shell as a, a material. So I've never played a tortoise shell guitar pick. Um, however, I guess this is supposed to emulate that. Uh, I do like the tone of it a lot though. Uh, here's what it sounds like. Okay, so those are the four picks. Uh, comment below and let me know which one you like the most. Uh, if I personally had to choose, I think just because I've used it for so long and I really like the feel of it, I would probably pick the blue chip pick. However, all of them are great sounding. I don't necessarily think one of them is the best sounding. They're just slightly different. And to me, it's more of a feel thing maybe. So. Uh, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.